I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have our July Universal Yums box. So if you're not familiar with Universal Yums, it's a monthly subscription box and it features snacks from different countries each month. And so this month we have snacks from Greece. So we do get the smallest box. There are three sizes and we have the smallest and then there's a medium and a large box and this one's about $16 a month for the smallest. Okay so for the smallest box what's the typical average number of snacks? Is it six? I think it's around six, six. yes. Okay. Yeah and each month they usually will give you a map of the country and you can even go on social media and rate which ones were your favorite as far as snacks. Little guide. They always have a fun guide each month. So it's not just about tasting the snacks. You get to learn a little bit about the country. And so it has things like trivia in here. It will tell you of any um, allergens that might be in the snacks. Of course, information about the snacks as well. And actually, see if you can answer this fun trivia. So when touring ancient historical sites, it's illegal to A, fly a drone, B, wear high heels, C, use selfie sticks, or D, laugh out loud. I'm going to say uh, no drones. No drones? Yeah, no drones. I'm guessing it's no drones. That's a good guess, but it's actually wear high heels. <laughs> because it's going to ruin the linoleum? Uh... Actually, yeah, they say it could damage some of the, the but... ancient sites. So, okay. yeah. Plus, uh... I'm just thinking that you'd run the risk probably of twisting an ankle trying to walk around in high heels. But... Oh, and I think you picked up the sticker there usually each month they have a sticker that comes with it and you have yet to i have place yet, your sticker on anything i have yet to stick them on anything yes <laughs> all right we're gonna go ahead and unbox these so we have unpackaged everything and as usual we start savory and go towards sweet so this looks like a really good box we actually do like Greek food, the few yes. Greek restaurants that we've been to. Mm -hmm. And so the first one we have here is Toadies Waves Tomato and Paprika Chips. That's a complaint I do have. Yes. The potato chips we have here in the United States, I don't think I've ever really come across paprika flavored, but when we get no. these snack boxes, it's like, oh, once in a while we'll come across potato chips that have paprika and so or tomato or ketchup, that's another one I'm surprised we don't have here. Yeah, and the paprika chip, chips always seem to be you know, decent. Thanks. And they have, they're pretty thin, but they do have little ridges in them. Mm. You like? Ooh, those have a nice flavor. They do. I would almost like, if, if nobody told me the flavor, I'd almost think maybe they're bacon flavored. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> those are good. Those are good. I think those are going to disappear quickly. Yes. <laughs> it says garden fresh tomato meets smoky paprika. Maybe it's that smoky flavor that's making me think bacon, but... It does have a bacon. Yeah. Yeah, really tasty. Mm -hmm. I like those. Those are good. I think we might like the next one too, the roasted garlic bread chips. Yeah, we had something from the description, we've had something very similar from uh, Ukraine, the Ukraine box. Mm -hmm. And those were super good. Can we open this one? I don't mind at all. <laughs> it says, finally, garlic bread you can snack on. Well, we do love garlic bread, so yeah. looking forward to this one. Hmm. Oh, and this says that people keep garlic cloves in their pockets or handbags and hang them to keep away evil eye. Evil eye. Yes. <laughs> There's one, it's got a hole in it. Are they all holy? Maybe. <laughs> Quite possible. They kind of remind me of um, bagel chips. Mm-hmm. I picked up at the store locally. Plain garlic. These kind of remind me of those garlic bagel chips that you pick up. I think they have a bit of a light garlic flavor compared to say the garlic rye chips that we had. From the Ukraine. From the Ukraine. Those have really strong garlic flavor. These are just yes. kind of mild. 
I mean, they're, they're still good. They're still good, yeah. I would say they're, they are mild compared to the Ukraine garlic chips that we had. Mm hmm. Could easily go through a bag watching TV. Definitely. Although, if you eat the entire bag, it's 320 calories. <laughs> okay. You. I, I know I have to spoil it every time, huh? <laughs> so, next we have, also by Toadie, Serenata Finger. This is a chocolate wafer bar, I believe. Yes, drizzled milk chocolate wafer. Grease's version of a, in parentheses, a better Kit Kat. A better, <laughs> better Kit Kat. So we'll see. I don't know if you can, I know you should, but it does look like one large Kit Kat. Yeah, it's already melty mess. Yeah, I'm always, I'm a little bit surprised that they deliver chocolates in, in the summer months because so many places have hot weather. I think I lost a bit of the chocolate on mine because it's stuck to the wrapper from melting. Yes. It's just like a Kit Kat. I know you're not a fan of Kit Kats, but... Yeah, I haven't really had a Kit Kat in a while. You think it tastes just like one? Not better, not worse? I love Kit Kats. <laughs> to me, it tastes just like a Kit Kat. Maybe just a little bit wider. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. I'm it's just like a chocolate-covered wafer. Mm-hmm. We're not sure about this claim about being a better Kit Kat, but it is very similar. Yes. Okay, so young lady, what would you like next? Next, let's do what's in the yum bag. Usually they have individual candies in here. They have frugelli. Frugelli, frugelli, not sure how to pronounce that. So that's a pomegranate? Yeah, that's a pomegranate jelly candy. Yep. That's and the other one is an mm -hmm. almond milk toffee. I didn't see that very well. Do you want to try the toffee first? Why not? It's right there. Almost looks like a now and later. Mmm. 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 -mm. I really enjoyed that one. As toffees go, that was a nice soft one, which I prefer compared to the ones that uh, pull on your teeth. It has a nice almond flavor to it. Yeah, that was a pleasant surprise. I was expecting, you know, we've had toffees before where they're hard in some of the comments. Uh, we received before we received some comments like well you know not all toffees have to be chewed sometimes you just suck on them and, yeah um, this is definitely one that you can chew yeah it does not really a strong toffee flavor but it did say milk toffee it says soft rich and creamy treat from Athens it almost uh, I think we mentioned this before it reminds me a little bit of those Brock's chewy candies that we used to get as kids yeah, that was um, good. but softer than actually even the nose Yep. So okay. shall we try the pomegranate jelly candy? It says tart and sweet and exceptionally chewy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here's our chewy one. Oh, looks like a looks like a gummy, actually. Hmm. This reminds me of those candies that you get that are Jelly candies covered in sugar. Yeah, but very soft. I was expecting something hard and chewy. Right. When it said chewy, I was thinking, oh, really, really chewy, but it's just more jelly-like. That was even softer than the toffee mm -hmm. we just had. Yeah, it was, it was good. It wasn't too tart. Yeah. A nice flavor, because I think the ones we usually get tend to have a lot of citrus flavors. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit different being pomegranate. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, those uh, mystery candies we had. That's definitely good. Yeah, these tend to be hit or miss. I know we've had some really good ones in this bag. We've had some really strange ones in this bag. So just never know what you're gonna get. All right. <laughs> so. So next up, we have grape must soft cookie. And I'm not sure if I should even try to pronounce what it says in the book here. Grape must mustacolora cookie. <laughs> Greek pressed grapes in a soft ring cookie. Sounds interesting. I'm sure I mispronounced that and butchered it completely. Ooh. Is it one big cookie? Or? It's like one big cookie. Oh. Yeah, interesting. I mean, I do love soft cookies. Never had one in a grape flavor, though, so. 
really interesting. Looks like a little donut, huh? It does. <laughs> you beat me to it. It does look like a little plain donut. All right. Hmm. Nice Ginger. smell to it. Yeah. Were you gonna say gingerbread? I was gonna say it, it almost smells like gingerbread. I was gonna say it reminds me a little bit of the smell of gingerbread cookies too. It's kind of nice. It's nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet. It's soft but a little dry. I will say it's, it's not very moist, but that's not. That's true. It's not a deal breaker. It's still, it still tastes good. It does taste good. Yeah, I think because it's thick too, it, you kind of notice the dryness a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It'd be really good if it had like a filling or a frosting on top. Mm. <laughs> but still, nice flavor to it. I do mm -hmm. like it. It's not like a strong grape flavor. You know, when we think of we have so many grape candies here that have such an artificial grape flavor, and it's not like that at all. It's very natural. Yeah, it does have a, as we mentioned, a scent of gingerbread. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these, these are good. Yeah. Oh, it says soft cinnamony cookies are meant to be musty. They're made with literal grape must, a thick mixture made up of the freshly pressed juice, skin, seeds, and stems of the grape. Hmm. Usually prepared as the first step of winemaking. How about that? Yeah, I'm talking about the dryness, and I have to say, I, I'm not a big dunker as far as dunking cookies and things in my tea and coffee, but now that we've been sampling a lot of British food, we often get the suggestion, you need to dunk them. I bet this would be good dunk because that'll probably give it a little bit more moisture to it. I've never seen you dunk anything, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Maybe I will turn into a dunker. We'll see. Okay. I've only really dunked biscotti because that's another one that's kind of dry and and a bit hard and dunking it really helps soften it up. Oreos. Mm. Nice cold milk Oreos. But yeah, I could see you doing possibly biscotti. Yeah. So our last one here we have is very traditional Greek. We have almond baklava. It says Greece's nutty take on the flaky classic. So we're ready to try the baklava. Ooh, it's very... Sticky. Sticky. The honey's kind of getting everywhere. I don't know, maybe that's because it was delivered on a hot day and... Yeah. I don't think you got the whole thing, but... Mmm. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Messy, but worth it. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. I do love baklava. Oh, yeah. Although I think as baklava goes, this probably isn't one of the better ones I've had. And the other reason I think is because obviously it has had to travel. It's in this honey sauce. I feel like the, the phyllo dough layers have gotten kind of a little bit chewy rather than having that. Usually get a little bit of kind of a crispy, slight, very light crispy phyllo dough texture. It's not, not as fresh as some we've had like at restaurants. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. So it has good flavors to it, but yeah. I just know we've had baklava at a few different places, you know, besides Daphne's. We've also had it at um, Wally's. Wally's. Uh, Although I think theirs might be the one with pistachio in it, but theirs is absolutely amazing. Is there a, an Egyptian fair we went to? And there's an Egyptian fair we went to. I think that one also might be pistachio. Yeah. And those were really good. I think those were handmade. Um, and oh, and the, the Greek festivals. Yes. Um, Definitely, that's usually you get those handmade by people. So, I mean, you can't beat that when somebody's hand making them versus something that's pre packaged and shipped. Who knows how you said that one was from Greece? So, yeah. it's, it's had a long it's had a long trip. So, yeah, that's one thing we, we enjoy. Then, uh, again, with the pandemic, we couldn't do it last year. A, a Greek fair. Or this year. Or, or this year. We didn't have it this year either. But, uh, oh, yeah, fantastic baklava, uh, the, the wedding cookies that mm -hmm. are. Covered in, drenched in powdered sugar. Powdered sugar, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Fantastic. Definitely missed the Greek festival. Um, yeah. I'm hoping as things are starting to open up, maybe we can attend a few um, ethnic food festivals. We would love to do some videos at those yeah. um, of sampling food. Hoping that can happen sometime soon. So do you have a favorite out of these? I'm gonna go with the paprika chips for the savory. And I think I mentioned earlier, it's. For whatever reason, we just do not see ketchup or paprika chips here. Yeah. And I don't remember the last time I've seen bacon flavored chips. And these do have a nice flavor to them. And if you didn't see the, the packaging, you might think, eh, bacon flavored. Eh, th these are good. Could easily go through a bag of these watching TV. 
The bagel, the bread chips that we had, they're not actually called bagel chips, but they remind me of bagel chips you can easily get here. And again, the, the flavor of the garlic was pretty mild, in my opinion. Uh, but as far as... Favorite sweet. The favorite sweet. We, well, we have two kind of categories of sweets. We have something cake-like, baked, and we also have candies. Uh, for the baked, I'm going to go with the baklava. Love baklava. As far as the candies go, these almond toffees we had, I thought were really, really good. How about you? What's your favorite? See, I think I'm going to go with, I'm also going to go with the tomato and paprika chips. Those were my favorite. I really mm -hmm. liked the flavor of those. And I think for the sweet, I'm going to pick the same one, the almond, the milk, almond milk toffee. That was really tasty. It's surprising. I wouldn't think that would be my favorite. I mean, all of the, everything was good in this box. I enjoyed them all. Nothing was like, really like a standout, like some boxes we just had, oh, this is just way better than the rest of them. Yeah. So I didn't feel like there were any quite like that. So I think the, the um, almond milk toffee would be my favorite. I do like baklava. I just, I wish the baklava was more flaky than this one is. And, and that's probably no fault. Maybe it was originally produced. It probably was perfect. And so if you like food unboxings, if you like food samplings and reactions, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.